Okay, I bought a used Whitetail Hunter STR uh, from a guy around here, and he said he'd only shot it a few times, missed a turkey with it, um, and so he decided he liked his bow better. And so um, I hurt my shoulder, that's why I'm converting, so I ordered this thing, Frank, uh, crank crock, cocking device and had myself the project of getting it installed and so what I did was I first had to pop these out which go over here and they lock together uh, but it basically says in the manual just pop them out and they and they pop out you see there's an interlocking catch right there and they just pop right out this one took me about 15 minutes and that has a similar interlocking connection. I don't know if you can see it. And the way you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to look in there and get it, pry it, and get it to pop with a screwdriver right in this little gap here. Because once you pop the back one out, then you can get at this, this groove. But it wasn't obvious which way it was going and if it was this way you have to push down and if this way it's push up but they're not interlocked in any way so you just push on it and I think pretty much you could just pry them out and explode them um, and so that worked out the most difficult part was this piece right here which holds the ratchet uh, that keeps it from from you know while you're cranking it click 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 that this is the clicky part this is the back side because in here I looked up my whitetail hunter and there's whitetail hunter one two three of them and so I went with the three quarter screws which are these and try as I might I could not get these to engage on the other side They're supposed to go all the way through and and thread in um, <laughs> it turns out there's also some whitetail hunters over here one two three and there's mine right there and so um, you know make sure you know which one you're working on or if it doesn't engage use the longer ones the other thing is that the manual tells you how to set this up and they warn you not to take these clips and put them directly over the scope I could loosen them but basically you could put them over the scope all the way down and that would give you a direct loop uh, and they show not to do that but they don't show how to do it and this is the important part is to go back this way behind this groove just like you did with the cocking rope and that's the key to making the whole thing work it's it's quite a bit to crank uh, I was hoping it would sit on here and stay here better um, it takes quite a bit um, I did manage to decock it once I don't recommend it I'm gonna probably fire my my uh, arrow once it's all loaded and everything fired out as they recommend um, because it's it's like so tricky the way this all engages with itself that I wouldn't uh, at all recommend it some people say you can right yeah I suppose you can but the these these clips actually um, make it tricky to to release the the safety which is not the way you're supposed to do it they don't want you to do it that way <laughs> so I would say uh, if you're expecting to do that with this crank which I was kind of hoping to do that would be probably it's not worth the trouble because it is a lot of trouble so thanks for watching have a great day bye bye